At this very moment, there is an electronic device that is able to see and is able to hear, recording everything I do and everything I say. But unless you have one hidden in your pocket, there is no electronic device recording my smells. <laughs> oh, gee, I used it yesterday. Not very good. Master of ceremonies, ladies, gentlemen, and anyone who doesn't like going through the airport and being sniffed by a dog. <laughs> have you ever seen an electronic device that can smell? Electronic noses or cyber noses exist, but the reason you haven't seen them around is because they are not very good or they are very big. My PhD research is about trying to make a portable cyber nose by using smell receptors from insects. Insects have an exquisite sense of smell, and they smell with their antennae. I'm illustrating here with Pablo de V. In their antennae, Pablo de V and other insects have smell receptors with the function to capture smells floating in the air. We also have smell receptors, but can you guess where we have them? In our nose, thank you. <laughs> when these receptors are sitting in the antennae and when a smell comes into contact with them, they go from open conformation to closed conformation. That is the signal that tells the brain that a particular smell is there because the receptor has captured it and the brain can detect that the, the receptor has changed conformation. If that smell is coming from a flower, Pablo de V will move closer to the flower. But if that smell was coming from a predator, Pablo de V will fly away. If we manage to put those receptors in an electronic device that is able to detect that change in conformation from open to close, then we will have given the first step towards the cybernose because now it will be the electronic device being able to tell that a particular smell is there. A port what, I'm what I'm doing right now, bless you by the way, what I'm doing right now <laughs> is I'm trying to make those receptors, make sure, making sure they are still able to capture smells and studying how that change in conformation from open to close occurs so we can detect it electronically. A portable cyber nose would not only have applications in security, in five to 10 years, 